What's good, party people? This is According to Words with the victorious... Michael Martinez. Michael Martinez, rep- the Honduran warrior. First off, your family's from Honduras. Did you have Honduran fighter heroes that you try to emulate? I don't, to be honest, I don't try to emulate anyone. There is the only famous fighter that's from Honduras is Teofimo Lopez, but he's a boxing champion. He's born in the United States, but he has parents from Honduras. Me, I'm Honduran born, and me becoming the first Honduran MMA world champion just it just means a lot to me. Thank you. There you go. Literally, the proof is in the pudding yeah. right here. Yeah. So, what is that? How does that feel? I've got goosebumps. Now, to be honest, it feels good, but. Like I said, I always preach God, I always give the credit to God. I know God has a plan for me, and I know his plans for me to become a world champion. But when I see, like, the plot and everything, I just it just feels normal to me. I should be more excited than I need to, but I know God has a bigger step for me. I know his plans are greater, that when it comes, I, I'm going to be super excited when his plans... I love it. Now, speaking of super excited, second round triangle choke. Was that something that you were training in the gym for, or is that something just repetition and you were able to pull it off right here at Sparsa MMA 62? So, to be honest, we try, my coach, we, Thomas Lindell, we try our best to become a real, well-rounded fighter. If we get taken down, we use our jiu-jitsu. If we, if we need to wrestle, we got to wrestle. If we, know, if we got to strike, we got to strike. I'm just not a one-dimensional fighter. I got pretty much all the tools that I need. If I need to use my jiu-jitsu, I'll use it. But pretty much, um, we, we've been working um, this whole camp on how to pretty much just win the fight. doesn't matter if it's unanimous decision, decision, submission, knockout. We're trying to win. We're not trying to lose. No, 100%. And again, you didn't lose tonight. How tough was your opponent tonight? It was pretty tough. To be honest, he, he stood tall. I felt like I was going to knock him out in the, the first round. He did come bulldozing through me. But once I hit him with two, three hard shots, I saw it in his face that he, like, he didn't want of it. He didn't want none of it. Once I saw him that I cracked him, he pretty much was like, I saw in his face was like, oh, shit. And then I was like, I got you now. And then when he took me down, I knew I had the submission too. I just had to be patient because he kept on like overextending himself and pretty much just ground and pounding, trying to hit me when I was on the ground. And I knew like later, a second later, he was going to mess up. And I knew I had him when he messed up. That's it. Position over submission, right? Yes, sir. Yes. The wisdom that you show in the cage, where does that come from? To be honest, it comes from my coach. Pretty much, he just gives me all the tricks and tips on how to defeat pretty much any fighter that comes up to me. We've done a lot of um, amateur MMA fights. We beat everyone. Um, we just pretty much just try to fight the best people we can. We're not trying to pick the easy fights. We wanna, If you want to be the best, you got to fight the best. And pretty much, I fought a wrestler that had cheats. I, I believe it was a cheats um, state champ or something like that. He was uh, he, he was gonna he was alternative for the Olympics. So we 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 took the fight to him and pretty much we submitted him. The roof is in the pudding. Uh, speaking of pudding, you cut w- weight for how long for this fight? So we originally wanted um to fight this day, but uh, we didn't get an opponent until two weeks ago. Once we, once he was, I was like at 155, 155, and then I cut the, pretty much the last, I mean, two weeks to the 10 pounds. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing at what your body goes through when that process happens. Yeah. Obviously, you won tonight. What does the victory meal look like? To be honest, I'm, I'm just wanting like a burger and fries. That's my to-go meal. I can eat that every single day, and I'm happy. I'm excited. I love it. Now, obviously, to a long fight camp, trying to look for a fight, two weeks, it's signed what have you. There's a lot of people who have ushered you to where you are now. Let's get some shout outs out of the way. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my family, my mom and dad. They've been very super supportive. My fiance, she's the the best girl ever. I'm gonna marry her in two weeks. So I'm super excited on that. Mm. I got to give it to my coach. Without him, I couldn't be in this position. And I always always had to give the, the credit to God. But my coach, that's where I get all my knowledge from. Who's your coach? You know, my coach is Thomas Landero, and we're going to be the best gym in the world. For those who want to see your rise to the top, to be literally a hero in Honduras, right? Where can they find you on social media to do such? So my name is Unique, the Honduran Warrior. This one and only. You guys just search it up anywhere, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. It'll be there, and I'll pop up. Yeah. Thank you, good sir. Uh, and I can't wait to see the brand that is the Honduran Warrior. Vice, yeah. This has been According to Woods with the, the Honduran Warrior, and we are out. Hey, this is Ada Zhang. Make sure you subscribe to According to Woods.